Hi guys, Glenn VK for NGA. Just want to show you um, how to use the Your Call memory on your D Star radio. This is an ICOM ID4100, but the same really applies for the um, ID5100s and the ID51s, and even the earlier models. <clears throat> so let's uh, let's have a look. Currently uh, connected to 30 Charlie, but um, I just want to show you around the uh, your call memory. So I'll just take you through. So I've got all of the um, all of the different reflectors in there. All the RF reflectors are in there. keep going. I'll just show you, uh, I'll come back to the CQCQ and the uh, info and the unlink and the echo test, I'll come back to that in a minute. So uh, i got the XLX reflectors in there, not all of them but are quite a lot, there's about 40 odd reflectors in here. And then XRF reflectors as well. So back to one Charlie. <clears throat> I'm just going to just get off this ref get off this reflector so um, we can. Uh, Charlie five now. Uh, no, they were having a We can use the radio properly that way. Let's wait for a break in this queue. So running on the open spot at the moment. Works really well. Just when you want to disconnect, there's somebody having a long QSO. And, uh, you know, make some contacts that way. That, that was kind of fun, but, you know, sort of, you know, sleuth that out and, uh, you know, start linking the repeaters in different places. Uh, to Echo Zero Sierra Charlie Oscar. This is KI4 EGQ. Open spot disconnected. <clears throat> It's going to connect, connect to. This reflector is pretty quiet this time of night. It's the Aussie VK reflector. Okay, so we'll turn that down. So, yeah, as you can see, I've got um, all of the reflectors in there. Um, so now I've connected to 23C. If I wanted to talk on 23C, I just wind this on to CQCQ, and if I key up, I'll go through the gateway. Now, I come and don't really tell you to put that in there, but I find that uh, having that in there is a lot less button pushing than doing this, which means you got to come back to reflector. Oh, you got to come back to local CQ and put that in there. So I find that to be a bit tedious, so a lot of button pushing. So what I do is I uh, just go to your call sign and you can see I've put in CQ, 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 so three CQs. I've got info in there, unlink, which is useful for repeater use, and then echo test. So I'll just tell you about this. So under your call sign, I've just named it local CQ three times, but in the link section, in the call sign section, I've put in three CQs, which tells the radio that you want to um, go through the gateway. So in the uh, info here, I've just typed in, in info, and then the eighth character is the I, so you've got to put in seven spaces and then the I. Same with unlink seven spaces, then the U, same with echo test, seven spaces, then the E. If you don't put the seven spaces in, it won't work. So if we just go to info, let's key up. 
Charlie. Tells me I'm connected to 23 Charlie. So I put that in the mix. Uh, I've got it after Reflector 77 Charlie, and I remember that. And then uh, it's just in the middle of the um, the reflectors. So once I uh, once I key up on a reflector, so I've already keyed up on this one, 23 Charlie. I just wind this knob to CQCQ. CQ. I don't have to push this button and mess around with doing this. I don't have to push that button twice. I just use your call sign and have it in there. Okay, so that gives you a bit of a look through. Um, I'll just go to another cool reflector. I'll have a bit of a play while we're here. So this one here. Oh. <clears throat> this one's connected to um, Talk Group 91 on DMR. Open spot connected to ECS 389 Bravo. Bit of RTD2 on that station. That was our ZS, ZS6AF. So a bit of activity on uh, Talk Group 91 and DMR. So, and you can just flick between them. So, key up on this one here XLX 500D. Open spot connected to ECS 500 Delta. And that's Brandmeister Talk Group 505 that's transcoded to the XLX 500 reflector. These, the XLX 500 group of reflectors is run by Ian VK2HK in New South Wales. It's a great reflector system. So there you have it. Um, if I wanted to talk to somebody I just come back here and just key up. So I just key up now and I get heard on uh, get heard on um, on the gateway. So it goes through. Sorry, I was just looking at my hotspots just to see if I was showing up on DMR and yes I am. So yeah, it gives you a bit of an idea of um, how to use um, your call sign. So that's um, in the menu, it's just here, your call sign, and then you just rotate this knob, this channel selector knob, to uh, wherever you want to go. So it works really well. Um, as you already would have discovered, that if you uh, come into Reflector, you know, link to your reflector, you've only got the REFs and if you go to direct input and try and put it in you can't get back to the RF, you can't change REF on here, so if you want to go to any of the X reflectors you can't do it. Um, so yeah, the, way to, uh, the way to do it is to uh, is to go to your call sign. And there you have it. So that's uh, giving you a demonstration on the ID4100, but um, no matter what D-Star radio you've got, you've got your call sign memory in there. And I think you can store 999 uh, memories in this radio, so there's room for plenty of um, plenty of reflectors. Uh, of course, the repeaters are in a different spot, so there's a couple of repeaters in here. The repeaters are in a, uh, a different part of the memory so that's just um, to show you that um, the repeater section is a separate section okay so hopefully that helps you in your d-star journey to um, to discover uh, a different way to work the radio and uh, a way to um, to have a play with the x reflectors which are really cool all right 
thanks for watching and uh, catch you later 73s